<laughs> this is uh this is taking so much longer than I expected. <laughs> I was not prepared to evil laugh for like ten minutes. That's just ridiculous. Anyway, what we're doing right now is a little bit of brewing. That's right. We're getting our first potions here in our little makeshift brewery located underneath this um mountain. Is this a mountain? It doesn't matter. Greetings, everybody. I am Lobo, and welcome to episode 20 of my Minecraft survival series. Today, we are going to be fighting the Wither. So, this is going to be two firsts in today's episode. This is going to be the first time I've ever brewed any potions in Minecraft. It will also be my very first Wither fight ever. Oh, it's like, you know this day is coming, but you're just never really prepared for it. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, uh, what I'm cooking up right now is a couple strength potions or a few strength potions. I want some strength two potions, actually, because I'm trying to be as strong as I can. I honestly have no idea what to expect with this fight. Death, destruction and chaos. That is what I am anticipating for today's episode, which is why we're bringing along a couple golden apples. And I think I'm going to craft up some regeneration potions as well once these strength potions are done brewing, which they are. So let's go ahead and pull these out. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. And we got our first trophy of the episode, which is awesome. I do love trophies. So let me go grab a couple more things we're going to need, and I will be right back. Okay, listen, this is going to be just as awkward for me as it is for you, so just don't look at me. Don't make eye contact. I told you not to make eye contact. I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> Welcome, my friends, to our little home away from home. This is going to be our tactical operations center for the upcoming battle. Right here, we have our chest, which is going to have all the stuff we need in case we need to respawn. So uh, what we're going to have is our spare sword in case we need to fight our way back, some snow golem equipment in case we need to make some of those to, <laughs> to distract them, and of course, extra food and potions. Now, I already have the uh, soul sand set up outside, so let's go ahead and put the skulls in the hot bar so they're ready to go. And we need to set our spawn before we fight, but I hear a skeleton, so I think it is nighttime. But there is a skeleton that is keeping me from spawning, so we do have to take care of him real quick. And there's a cave back here. That's why there's cobblestones here. Um, but I don't really want to open this up <laughs> and welcome them into the uh, into their little operation center here. I think that might be a bad idea. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. So um, now that that's taken care of, we can go ahead and plug up these holes. And uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and get this fight underway. I'm excited. Oh, man. I am pumped. All right. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. This is where I have the uh, the soul sand set up. There's like a little platform over here, which I'm going to stand on so I can put the heads on properly. This is like not too far away from our um, from our ice spikes biome over there. So hopefully he'll stay in this area and not go over there unless he really wants to ruin my day, <laughs> because that would be that would be horrible. Hopefully he just stays focused on me. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and do this. So one, two deep breaths, <sighs> deep breaths. All right, I'm going to run over there as soon as I do this. All right, here we go. Three. No, <laughs> that didn't work. Because uh, air blocks, we need uh, we need air blocks. Let's go ahead and take this guy off. And we need air blocks under these for him to actually spawn. All right, three. Let's go. Oh, man. Oh, man. Trophy. Yay, trophy. Okay, no time to celebrate. Let's go. <laughs> Let's run. Oh, okay. Okay, let's look at him. And he is angry. He has an angry, angry wither. This is the first time I've ever seen an angry wither in the wild before. <laughs> I've never spawned one of these. And okay, let's see if we can slowly wither him down. Get it? Wither him down. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's pick him off. All right. We got one hit. We got two hits. Okay. He's. Oh, nope. He's he's hanging out. I don't think he's too bothered by me, which is. Uh, nope. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Those things come faster than I thought they would. All right. Um, oh, they do some damage. They do. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, it's just a pass. It's just a pass. I thought we were like at the entrance to a cave. That could have been that could have been super bad. I didn't really scope this area out thoroughly enough beforehand. There he is. All right. Um, let's come around here and bam. All right. Got you. Got you. Oh, he's going to take this pet. This thing. I can guarantee this isn't going to be standing by the time this fight is done. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's a miss. That's a miss. All right. Let's take another look. All right, that's a hit. That's a hit. All right, that's going to be my uh, my tactic here is hit and retreat, hit and retreat, stick and move. Ah, I got stuck. I got stuck. All right, so we're withered. Uh, that's why we brought the milk, which I don't have all my hot bars. Get rid of this dirt. We'll put the milk in here. All right, let's drink this. And I... 
uh, didn't need that, did I? Okay, the withering effect doesn't last as long as I thought it would. Um, let's go ahead and take some of that, though. Get this uh, saturation working for us so we can we can get at him. Um, if we can find him. Alright, I'm suspecting he's- yep, he's behind that tree. That tree that was slowly being dismantled before our very eyes. Oh, man. This guy is dangerous. He is dangerous and sneaky. Oh, I see you. I see you. Did you, did you guys see his head sneaking out from behind that tree? Oh, man, he wants to play hide and seek. Alright, you're it, you're it. Come on, come on. Oh, 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 so dangerous. So, so dangerous. Just knows where I am. He knows where I am. Oh man. Alright, alright. There he is. This is so tense. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's get some hits in. That's one. Come on. Come on. Where are you? Come on. Come on. Whew, okay. And and yeah, that's it. Let's run away. <laughs> that's our uh that's our tactic. We're just gonna take him down a little bit at a time. We'll go around and then we'll hit him again and then we'll run back into a no <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh man. I don't know, uh, I don't know what that sound was, but I do have to apologize for it. Oh, gosh! Okay, okay, we're hit again, we're withered again. That's alright, we're fine. It's not gonna last too long. Oh, man, what kind of sound was that? What did I- I have to listen to that. <laughs> oh, ridiculous. Alright, oh, the trees aren't safe, the trees aren't safe, there's nowhere that's safe. Oh, come on, get up, get up, get up, come on, run, run, run. run. I'd say at this point, I am definitely the hunted. We can get rid of this. We have no more milk. Use ender pearls so we can make a quick escape if we need to. There he is. Yep, I'm definitely being hunted at this point, guys. All right, we'll circle back around on him. We'll come up over the top. He's going to be over here somewhere. Come on, come on, show yourself. Show yourself. Oh, there he is, there he is. He comes from out of nowhere. Like, he flies in from the side of the screen. I don't even know where he's coming from. All right, let's get... Oh, no, come on, come on, come on. I think the only way this works is if we, uh, is if we keep eyes on him. That way we don't get surprised. So, we know where he is. We know where he is by the disappearing trees. Let's get our shots in. Oh, come on. How'd I miss that? All right, there we go. There we go. Easy target. Mm, I'm an easy target. I'm an easy target. All right. <laughs> Keeping eyes on him is overrated. All right, come on. Come on. Yeah, he's slowly taking this pass down. That's all right. That's all right. We're, we're, we're getting him down. We're withering him away. <laughs> Did you see that? The strategy hasn't changed. The strategy hasn't changed. We're in and we're out. We hit and we move. We hit and we move. Hit and move. Oh, this is not going to hold out for much longer, though. It's not going to hold out much longer. All right, we're doing good, though. We have him at we have him at half health. We're doing good. We're good. We're at full health. We have our golden apple still. We have our potions. And his aim is his aim is off. He's on tilt and he's hurting. It's definitely hurting. I could just be trying to make myself feel better. Oh, that makes me feel good, though. That makes me feel good. Oh, the game has changed. The game has changed. We have Wither Skeletons. Oh, man, come on. Come on. Leave me alone. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Don't do this to me. Not these guys. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That scared the life out of me. I just jumped out of my chair. <sighs> Why? <laughs> Why would you do that to someone? Oh... Headphones. Oh, this guy's okay. Arrows are clearly not hurting him anymore. This is not the way to go. All right. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and take our strength potion, and we need to go at him with a sword. It is dusk is approaching. We need to take this guy out before nighttime. Now is the time crunch. This is uh, this is it. This is where we do or die. All right, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah! Taste the blade. Taste the blade. That's diamond. That's diamond smite. We got him. We got him. We got him. Let's back up. Let's back up before he blows up. All right. We'll take some of this since we got it. We'll stay good. Trophy earned. The beginning. Amazing. There it is. There, <laughs> I'm out of breath. There is our uh, nether star. That was intense. That was intense. Minecraft has not excited me like that in a very long time. I am so... Wow. Wow. Let's uh, get inside before night hits. That's all I have to say is wow. I'm, <laughs> I'm at a loss for words right now. That was awesome. That was an amazing fight. GG Wither. GG Wither. <laughs> 
All right. And looking back, looking back, like that was scary. <laughs> Parts of it were very scary, but I don't think we were ever actually close to dying. So I'm feeling much more confident about future weather fights. I think I want to do a multi weather fight at some point. Not today. Not today. I'm still recovering. But we did get our nether star, which was our ultimate goal. And <laughs> I'm so happy right now. This is awesome. All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to head back home once I uh, take, a, take a little rest. Bye. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Welcome back, you. Welcome back, me. Uh, next order of business is to create a beacon. So I know we need two and some change stacks of uh, emerald blocks or any kind of like fancy, fancy blocks. Uh, so we're just going to take three since I don't know the exact number. <laughs> so I put those over there. And uh, oh, oh, here we go. So I smell more emerald blocks on the horizon for us. All right. That's good. That's good. That's a good start. That's a good start. All right, so we'll be making some paper here soon. Uh, but yeah, our first beacon is going to be over here in this little spot right here we have set up. And, you know, if you've been watching this for a while, you know we have uh, plans for another beacon over that way, uh, inside our little entrance area, another one over there by our tree farm, and another one over in this general direction where our docks are going to be by the Flying Wolfman. But I'm going to go ahead and start digging down here. We're going to put our beacon at about level 50, so I'll check back in with you in just a minute. So I overshot level 50 by a little bit. <laughs> We're at level 12 right now. And the reason for that is because I just wanted to show you where this beacon's going to be in relationship to our underground area. So this is our slime farm, which is not operational at the moment because it's completely full. Uh, we have like one and a half double chests of slime blocks, like actual slime blocks from those guys. And uh, the rest is just filled with slime balls I haven't crafted yet. So, I mean, we have more slime blocks, honestly, than I'm ever going to use in this game. Um, so I don't know what the future of our slime farm is going to be. Uh, finishing it would just be more of a vanity project than anything at this point. But yeah, let me go ahead and get back up here to level 50. And uh, we'll go ahead and hollow some area out and put our beacon in. You know, since this is my first beacon, I never realized how just massive these things are. Like, this is so much green. Like, so much... I know most people don't build my emeralds because it's super ugly. But <laughs> this is what I have available. This is what's renewable for me. Oh, man, that's so much. Like, it's just ridiculous like filling the whole thing in it just like whoo we'll get this one in and then of course the last block right there and then we'll set our beacon right on top of that which we don't have we have another star we need to craft this into a beacon i'll be right back total noob anyway uh yeah i'll put this right here and can you tell i've never done this before like can you tell like is it showing <laughs> we'll put the beacon right on top of that and uh, then, oh, another, tr this is like the episode for trophies. It really is. All right. Now to power this thing, what I think we need to do is we need to put an emerald or, you know, one of those blocks on the left into that. And then I want haste. Haste is what I want. Um, but we do got some good options here. Haste is what we're going to ultimately choose, though. But I do want maybe all five at some point. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, so I think we should now have haste. Too, correct um let's head up to the top and we'll find out all right here we go um i don't think i did it right because i've seen i've seen haste to an action and it definitely doesn't look like this right right all right so let's let's you and me see if we can figure out what i did wrong um <laughs> So, I mean, we have our emerald that got accepted. We have haste two right here. Um, like, does it have to be pressed in? Maybe. Do we have to? Um, let's haste. So, I am so confused right now. Um, okay, haste. So do we put another emerald in there? Do we have to pay? Like, is it, is it, oh, here we go. All right. So that's accepted. And now the check mark is checked on both. The... Okay. Okay. I think I got it. I think I got it. Let me know if I don't have it, but I think I got it. We'll go upstairs and we'll try this again. Somebody please teach me how to beacon. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and give this a shot and see if we manage to get haste two going. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's beautiful. We could take down mountains in no time with this. That's awesome. This is going to make, this is honestly going to make resource gathering so much easier. Like we're going to have so much more time to actually build now that we don't have to spend so much time collecting resources. Awesome. Now I know I mentioned earlier, I would like to do multi wither fights at some point. And 
Like, currently I have eight Soul Sand and six Wither Skulls, and I have to do two more Wither Fights. I'm not doing them today. Today we're going to head over here to the Nether, uh, because I want to find a place where we can easily dispatch Withers. Because we're going to need a lot of beacons, because if we do five at each of those four points, we're going to need 20 for this one little area. So loud. So, so loud. And... That's a lot of wither battling, and that's not even the only area of our city, so I'm going to search for something which will make our wither killing a lot easier. <laughs> so what I'm basically looking for right now is a 3x3 three three section of bedrock along the nether ceiling with an air block above it. And I hear they're kind of rare, and that you should just look up locations for them online, but I don't want to do that. I kind of want to find my own, because I'm stubborn like that. So I'm going to go ahead and continue searching and I'll check back in with you hopefully in a little bit once I have found something or once I just give up. All right. So it's been a little while and uh, I haven't given up yet, but I also haven't found anything yet. Uh, there have been some close calls, like some areas where I thought I might have it. And no, no, turns out I was wrong. Um, so, oh, maybe this. No, no. No. Maybe right here? Ooh. No. All right. More time has elapsed. And I have a. I have still haven't found it. Just to, just to clarify, I still haven't found what I was looking for. But I have found something. I do have a question to pose. And it's, it's this. I have this bedrock formation right here with bedrock on the bottom, an air block, and then a bedrock on top. And it's enough room to actually spawn the wither inside. And as far as I know, he can't go through bedrock, so this should trap him and leave him kind of hanging out. So why can I not just put the wither right here? It's like, there's three scenarios I can think of. Like, one, it actually works. Two, like, the, the wither kind of, like, goes up through the nether ceiling, in which case I'm safe. Uh, three, the it works and the nether star goes up, like kind of an item elevator since it's trapped in a block. But there's so many openings around it that I think it should just pop out the side. Uh, four is um, it doesn't work at all. And the wither escapes and I just never return to this area of the nether. And I'm willing to give that a try. So uh, what do you say we go ahead and do that? Oh, I have a feeling this is a bad idea. I'm sure you guys are shaking your head right now. <laughs> I'm shaking my head right now. All right. You know what? Let's go ahead and put these in here in case uh, we need to find our way out. Guess we need to make a very quick escape. Okay, bad idea, but we're going to do it anyway. Here we go. Deep breaths and. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We'll, uh, we'll hide out over here by our nether chest box. Uh, how are you doing, Mr. Pigman? Are you ready for this? All right. <laughs> All right. Um, he should be good now. There we go. Oh, he's taking damage. He's taking damage inside the bedrock. All right, that's very loud. I apologize for the sounds. Oh, he is trapped. He is trapped. That's awesome. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so it's going to be either scenario one, two, or three. Let's figure out which one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't go up. Don't go up. This could be uh, scenario, scenario two. I don't want him to go up through the top of the bedrock. Let's see if we can get a different angle on him. So that way we can just hit him like kind of sideways, not upward. Um, let's see. Now, oh, I apologize for the noise. Um, now, if we do end up losing the Nether Star, if we end up losing this Wither and losing the Nether Star, I'm actually not too worried about it because we have pretty much unlimited Nether Skull or Wither Skulls, and we can keep spawning more and more Withers, so that's not a big deal. I'm trying to get some lighting in here for you guys, but he's just not having it right now. Um, let's see. Okay, I guess this is going to be pretty much as good as it gets. Yep, that's, that's pretty much as good as it's going to get. Alright, so let's see if we can go ahead and take this guy down in health a little bit. I'm not hurting him through the bedrock. Oh, here we go, here we go. Alright, so it looks like he might have disappeared. But he's still there. No, he's still there. He's still there. Okay. So let's keep keep chipping away at him. Let's just let's just hit this block, because it's hurting, and we'll see what happens with the nether star. Like I said, I'm not too fussed about it if we lose it. Alright, so he is down. All right, so let's see what happens. Hopefully, hopefully it pops out the side. Yes, 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 yes. All right, so second nether star, and we have uh, just a 
very cheap, cheaty wither killing location right here. Uh, we're not going to use this too often because this is not exciting at all compared to the rush I was getting earlier. But it is, it is something. So I want to get one more Nether Star. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and do one more while we're here. This uh, this little method of oh, and we got more wither skeletons. I was just about to say. I was just talking about you guys. This uh, little method of killing the wither paired with our wither farm that just cranks out wither skulls. This is ridiculous. This is too easy. It shouldn't be this easy, and I, I actually don't like it. So I'm not sure if we're gonna make use of this very much at all in the future. Uh, just to, just to let you know. But yeah, there's our third wither star of the day. Awesome. But I mean, at least I, I feel like I've learned something. I feel like, you know, we've learned something cool together. We've learned how to craft potions and, and build a beacon and how to. Hi. <laughs> um, I've completely lost my train of thought. But unfortunately, that is all the time I have for today. So if you like what you've seen, please remember to leave a like. And if you want to see more, please remember to subscribe. Um, I, we got a decent amount done today. Maybe not as far as building goes, but as far as actual progress goes, we did a lot. So I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today. And until next time, I am Lobo, and I will see you guys later.